Um, she is uh, just a, a working mum, two kids, small boy and a teenage daughter, and um, she's getting ready for work one morning and she has a stroke. And uh, it's the story of how she navigates that and how her and her family try and make their way through um, terrible, ordinary tragedy, if there is such a thing. I'm just really pleased for Nick and I'm really pleased that people have responded to it as a piece of work and I feel like it's a really compassionate, important story that he's tried to tell and that I think he's told beautifully and um, it's just my pleasure to be a part of that, such a wonderful cast, amazing crew, I'm just really pleased for him and for the, the cotton wool that people are seeing it. Well, it was really collaborative um, and we were laughing. We said we made a deal, we shook hands on it. Um, even though I call everyone kid at work, I'm like, you're right, kid, okay, kid, 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 kid. Um, I didn't treat him like a kid. That was one of the sort of deals that we made. I don't think he wanted me to and I didn't want to. So I was like, right, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this. So it's, you know, it's going to be a. The relationship I've had with you as a director, not you as a 17 year old young up and coming director. So we had a really collaborative, really robust process with each other. There were some big push and pulls about some scenes, and I've been joking about it, but you know, usually Nick was, you know, it was right and convinced me that yes, absolutely, and I trusted him. It's a big game. Um, it's a bit, I think any actor will tell you, you know, there is a, a, sense, a particular sensitivity about playing someone who's got a physical disability and, um, and I trusted Nick to navigate me through that journey and, and he's a really exciting young man, he's one to watch. The script, I read the script and um, it really resonated with me, I felt like it was important and it was, I keep saying, compassionate, which is like a really sensitive piece of work, really mature. It was about families and love and fear and loss and how, you know, these tiny tragedies happen to people. They're tiny in the grand scheme of the world, but to those people, they're in there fighting for their lives and they're fighting for each other. And that's a deeply humane thing to explore. I think now, more than ever, excuse me, <coughs> um, so someone sent me a lovely thing, it's like a Mother Teresa quote that was saying, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. So for me, at a time when everything is all up in the air, any story that talks about what it is to be human and the human experience is something I'm really interested in exploring. Well, I think that's what's lovely about independent film and um, short film, is that, you know, maybe it gives you a little bit more wiggle room than you might get elsewhere. And I think it's deeply important. I feel like the story came from something that Nick's family had experienced. You know, the film is dedica dedicated to his grandmother. And, um, and that integrity carried him and us right the way through the creative process. So I feel like it gives him an opportunity, you know, as a, I want to say fledgling, but I think the film shows that maybe a bit more so than that but um, as a young filmmaker who's at the beginning of what I'm sure will be an amazing career it gives him the opportunity to to pull it all together and you know you meet the most amazing people doing things that you never expected you know working with Alan McLaughlin the DOP he's one of the most talented DOPs I've ever worked with and him and his crew and the whole crew and the whole cast and the production side of things working under immense pressure and real kind of budget constraints and time constraints, you know, Pip, our amazing, you know, special effects makeup girl, you know, being asked to do really difficult things with next to no time and, and very little money comparatively. And you just find people being deeply creative and you're allowed to be deeply creative within that. So it's, um, it's necessity is the mother of invention, as they say, and I like that as a working environment.